what's going on guys got another pov drive video coming through today uh in this video i got the head mount set up a little bit tighter i think i got the angle down and it's not nighttime so we got some good visuals um i think when it comes to angle and what you guys see this will probably be one of the best ones yet I hope you guys have been enjoying these. The POVs are, they're pretty fun to make. I can't lie, I always like driving my car. I enjoy very much making my cut up videos in my game, but I do very much so enjoy my POV ride videos as well. So it's a Saturday night out here in New York tonight. See, it's not nighttime right now, but I'm sure by the end of this video it will be. Got the sports displays on over there. I hope you can see those well. Still a little bit bouncy, but definitely not gonna be as bad as it was in the last video. sun is blasting me. The C63 pulling up next to me, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a 63. Sounds like a 63. That's a 63. Oh, it's a 43. It's a C43. I was tricked. That's a good sound in V6. It's so funny. One of the silliest things, one of the big reasons I like having a wing on a car like this, you guys probably can't see it. If you look in the mirror, I don't know if you can even see in the mirror. At a certain angle, you can you can see the two points of the uh, of the wing, you know, sticking up in the air, and it looks really cool. This road is just not good for the bumpiness. I got my camera fastened a little bit tighter on my head this time, even though that's giving me a bit of a headache. It's so funny, like you don't really realize that the thing sits on your head tight with like the weight of the phone just kind of sitting there and it, it like gives you a headache, but you don't really know that it's happening. You kind of just deal with the headache and then when you take it off, you just, you can feel that headache just relieve itself from your head. See now, ideally, what I'd really like to eventually turn this into, or not really turn this into, but you know, eventually release a video doing is I would like to, at some point, find like, I don't know, I live in New York, so there's not really much of this. It's really hard to find, but I'd like to find like a mountainous or like a, like a, a just a windy road. Something I can have a little bit of like fun on turning and POV drive that. That would be pretty cool. I might have to go out of state for something like that, but shit, I will if I got it. Stopping at that. We're making that boys. Oh, that guy's slamming on the brakes. When I do get home tonight, uh, my plan is to hop on my computer, hop up on my editing stuff, and get finished up with the nighttime POV video. And then eventually I will, uh, I'll get this one up too. The issue I'm having right now is if anybody knows the solution to this, I would, it would be much appreciated if, if someone can help me out with this. But when I, when I record these videos, I record them in uh, 60 FPS 4k because you know, obviously I want the best quality I can get out of it. And the iPhone has the ability to film, you know, 4k 60 FPS. So why the hell would I not do that? Right? The problem I'm having is I can't, you know, of course the, the media files attachment is too big, so I can't email it to myself. Oh, there's something going on up here. A whole lot of coppers and ambulances, and oh man, some something bad must have happened here. They got the whole middle of the road blocked off. This guy's got his blinker on. He's trying to make a left turn here. Good luck with that one, brother. What the hell happened over here? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, the file. So basically, the issue that I'm running into is when I take the, or like I was saying, I can't email it to myself because the file's too big. There's a lot of different things that I try that it won't allow me to do just because the file's too big. So what I've been doing is I've been saving it to like my iCloud drive, but sometimes it takes me four or five attempts to save it to my iCloud drive and oh, oh man. 
Oh no. Jesus Christ, I hope everyone's all right. That's bad, I don't even know if I should show that or not. I don't know if it's bad to show that. Yeah, I guess that's normal to show. You didn't see any people. Um, but yeah, so Google Drive basically is, you know, whenever I try to do these 10 to 11 gigabyte videos that I'm trying to transfer onto my computer for the editing, uh, the Google Drive basically, like it takes like three or four attempts. So like it'll screw up and say error like three times and then eventually it'll just work. But it takes hours and hours. Like I like last night I got home at like 5.30 and I wanted to, uh, no, that's a lie. I got out of work late last night. I got to work at seven, but I got home at like 7.30 and I wanted to edit the video and I put the video, I put the video in the thing to load it to iCloud Drive to get it on the iPhone. And I got the first half of the video over, but I had a technical difficulty and had to restart the video. So there were two videos that I had to transfer. The second video errored me like three times all the way until it was like time for me to go to bed. It kept me up all night. I was trying to get it over and it wouldn't go. And then eventually it did it, you know, while I was sleeping, which is great. I got it done. But at the same time, I would have liked to have edited and posted the video last night. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. It's just if I could find a solution that will speed my process up, it would it would be very helpful. Uh, but other than that, man, we're just out here making these videos, you know. Appreciate you guys for watching, tuning in. My guy in the Mazda is getting a little cutty. There he goes. Bumps are killing me here. I mean, I want to make the camera even a little bit tighter just for the sake of the bumps. But I, you know, it gets to a certain point where I'm putting too much pressure on my head. I think it might just be kind of weak. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I cheaped out on this shit. Like the tripod and the chest and head harness, I probably spent like a total of 60 to 80 bucks on that. It's like $20 for the for the bike for the tripod, and then it was like 40 bucks for the head harness and the chest harness. The chest harness isn't even gonna work. The chest harness might be good for uh my cut up videos on the game but I tried the chest harness out in here before I threw this on and uh, it's too low you, you don't you you don't see really over the steering wheel you kind of just see the steering wheel oh this guy's slow poking it in the left lane I know I hit a lot of little potholes right there, but I almost hit a big fat one. It's always a uh, oh, that's actually not too bad. Nice and easy. Usually, you have a whole bunch of people on your right that don't know whether or not they're supposed to let you go or if they're supposed to slow or uh, speed up. It's supposed to speed up, especially on Long Island, man. So, just a little backstory about oh, you son of a bitch in the same spot, in the same spot, same technical difficulty that I had in the last fucking video, in the same spot. All right, so I had the same issue I had in the last video. I have to make it a point to remember to take my wallet out of my pocket before I uh, do these POV videos because it happened in the same exact spot. I guess when I come around that entrance ramp or exit, whatever you want to call it, I must lean on my wallet a certain way. Um, I explained in the last video, just in case you didn't see, I basically I have a tile in my pocket and the tile or in my wallet. And the tile is meant for if I lose the wallet, I can use my phone app tile to find the wallet. And it, but it works vice versa, right? So if you lose your phone, you can press the button on the tile and it'll ring your phone. So that's what just happened there. I pressed the button on the tile because I leaned to the left from the turn and uh, it made my phone start going crazy. I'm gonna cut this guy off, fuck it. Yeah, these guys are bugging, driving slow as shit. Oh. 
Todd that's going to go in front of me here. Let's see if he wants to drive. All that just to drive slow? I see. It's funny because, like, sometimes you know, you, you, you know, I know this guy saw me in his mirror. You know what I mean? Like, I know he saw my headlights coming. I want to know what happened in his mind that made him decide, you know what, let me just get in front of this guy. And then I'll just go a lot slower than he was planning on going in front of him. I'll never understand it. Hot in here. Got the heat on. I didn't even realize. Keep blasting. that guy was trying to get on the road? No, right? Right here, it's gonna split, and when it splits, a lot of the cars on the left go to the left on the split, which is good. So sometimes it is good to be in this lane because they get out of your way. But if there's a lot of cars, like, see, this guy's gonna get right out of my way. If there's a lot of cars, they usually hit the brakes because they're about to turn. Why? 
I just don't understand why. There was just a little bit less traffic. Just a little bit, ever so slightly. This thing just, I just hit that bump just now and the, the mount came down and smacked me right on the bridge of my nose. Don't fucking, why? I just don't understand. That's three, let's look at three people in a row who have done that. And he's got no headlights on. I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get people why they, why they do things like that. It's like he waited. He waited till I made the move to decide that he was going to go in front of me. Okay. <laughs> he put the hazards on. I'm fucking crying. In the Honda Civic. In the Hondeezy putting the hazards on. I'm weak. I never understand. I never know. You know, because sometimes people put the... Ha I, I assume if you just blink the hazards and you shut them right off, I assume that's like a good race or a good drive, whatever. But when you put them on and you hold them on, especially after you just pissed me off, I'm gonna automatically assume that you uh, that you're trying to do some dickhead shit because that's what it looked like. It looked like he put his hazards on, like as if he beat me in a race. <laughs> yeah, I'm not waiting at that light. All right, all right, so. Just like usual, video is going to end off in the side streets here. I finished my ride. I appreciate you guys for tuning in again for another POV video. I'm going to try to do like a little, uh, little sound run here because since we're not on the highway anymore. It's, uh, there shouldn't be too much wind so I can have the windows open. Oh, there's people here. I didn't see these people walking. Yeah, man. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching. I hope you guys can hear the car well. But once again, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Um, these videos are a lot of fun to make, and I've been trying to put out as much as I can lately. It means a lot to me that you guys are liking up and subscribing. Nothing means more to me than that. So keep watching, keep tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>